Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at the most popular technique since the Inu rig, but unlike the Inu rig, this doesn't suck and you can consistently catch fish with it. What we're talking about today is combining the chatterbait with the tube bait. I'm gonna show you two ways to do it and we're gonna do it in under five minutes. So let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove the skirt. Next, we take something small, such as a stick bait, or in this case, a finesse TRD. We wet the bait, and we're gonna insert the bait into the tube. After you've inserted the stick bait into the tube, you can cut off the excess part. And finally, we're going to insert the hook of the chatterbait into the nose of the tube, making sure that we go through the stick bait that's already in there. By going through the stick bait that's already in there, we can ensure that this tube is going to stay on the hook in the event of a strike. Sometimes after you've done this, a little bit of the stick bait will be sticking out from the bottom of the tube so we can cut that excess off again. And then push it into the tube a little more. And there's your completed bait. That is the first way to do it. Now I'm going to show you the second way and my favorite way to do it. Now just like in the first method, the first thing we're going to do is remove the skirt. Alright guys, so for the second method, you're going to take the tube and on the top of the tube, you're going to cut it at about a 45 degree angle at the top, like this. Now by cutting it like this, it's going to give you a small opening in the top of the tube. And what we do from here is we simply put the hook of the chatterbait through the top of the tube all the way up until the end. And then we're going to take the tube and we're going to pull the tube over the head of this chatterbait. And that's it. It's as simple as that. That's the reason, obviously, I like this method a little better. You got to remember to leave a little space at the top here so that the blade still has a lot of movement and you don't want it rubbing up against the tube. So that's the big secret that everyone's talking about on Facebook and YouTube right now, but it's not really that much of a secret. People have been using this method for years, especially tournament fishers. So what about you guys? How many of you guys have used the chatterbait tube combination like this in the past? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're gonna try this for the first time, which method, method number one or method number two, are you most likely to try out? I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you've made it this far, make sure you like the video. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. That way you can see when I put out more fishing tips just like this one. So be safe this holiday season, and until next time guys, tight lines.